the number of patients I think we're going to be able to help in the world is not just tens of millions, but potentially hundreds of millions of people in the world. Because there are 400 million people in the world with coronary disease, and it's the leading cause of death in the world. HeartFlow is a Redwood City, California-based company started in 2007 by Christopher Zarens and Charles Taylor. HeartFlow's software has been FDA approved to evaluate the symptoms of coronary artery disease, but it has as many skeptics as fans among cardiologists. What we're doing at HeartFlow is we're taking CT uh, data that uh, is acquired for a patient uh, with suspected heart disease. We take the data, we use uh, deep learning methods, artificial intelligence to extract a patient, a very precise mathematical model of the patient's coronary arteries. Uh, we simulate uh, blood flow and we provide this information back to physicians so they can make a decision whether a patient should be best treated with medical therapy, with stents, uh, or possibly surgery. One of the challenges when a patient has uh, chest pain or, and the doctor suspects that they have coronary artery disease, the physicians have to determine, you know, is this patient, is, is, do they really have coronary disease? So trying to make that determination for any patient that comes in, you'd rather not have to take every patient, put wires into their coronary arteries and to be able to do an invasive test. So the possibility of doing this non-invasively uh, significantly can uh, reduce the risk for the patient and you know have a better better experience than having one of their arteries punctured uh, to do an invasive diagnostic test but also from a healthcare system perspective it can be a lot cheaper it could be a lot less expensive uh, to be able to diagnose coronary artery disease than using uh, conventional uh, methods that would be savings that accrue to government payers and to patients who pay out of their own pockets so we really want to pass the bulk of the savings to the payer and the patient. You know, nowadays we have so many more patients, you know, that because of the aging of the baby boom generation, so many more patients that ha will have heart disease, will have coronary artery disease, and we, as, as a society we've got to figure out how to, how to be able to diagnose and treat these patients in a manner that's really safe and, and you have good patient outcomes, but also um, is not overly burdensome to the healthcare system.